Hello guys, it's Teenage DC Fan back in another video. And if you're familiar with the DC Multiverse line, then you probably know that Mattel recently sold the rights to make these figures off to McFarlane Toys. So now it's officially 2020 and McFarlane Toys officially is in charge of making DC Comics figures. So they, a couple days ago, they re revealed... Um, the new waves that they're doing for DC Multiverse, which will all be available this month. Um, they're already available for pre-order, so go ahead and check them out on Walmart and Amazon and stuff like that. Um, so we're going to go through each different figure and look at what's going on with each of them. So we have this one first here, and I'm not sure exactly what's this, what this is called, but I know it's some sort of Batman, some kind of suit for Batman, um... Uh, so each one of these figures comes with a little round black display stand with the DC logo on it and a little peg. Also, each of these figures comes with a little collector card for each character. So this one looks pretty nice. Um, like I said, not familiar with this suit or if it's a character, I don't really know. Um, as you can see, um, he, his suit is pretty much all black. I, I think there may be a little gray in there. Um... And then, of course, he has the red bat symbol and the eyes and stuff like that. And then also the wings, which I believe are foldable because in this picture you can see there, see them more spread out. So, I don't know, there may be some articulation in those wings. Maybe not. But then we have Harley Quinn. And I'm not quite sure if this is based on Batman the Animated Series or the comics because that face looks very cartoony. But then if you look at the collector's card, it's a comic picture. Um, but anyway, for accessories, she comes with her mallet hammer thing and a little gun with the bang flag on it. And I like the colors on this. With the, Also with the, uh, the little diamonds on her legs and her arms. And then you even got the, the little ruffly thing on her wrist. So that's pretty cool. Um... And there she is posed on the stand with her mallet. Then we have Green Lantern from Justice League Unlimited, which is an amazing animated show. Um, he comes with his collector's card, which looks amazing. Uh, so that's straight from the show. That's why with the Harley Quinn one, if this was based on Batman the, Ima the Animated Series, then it would be a picture of her from Batman the Animated Series like it is with this one um but for accessories he comes included with this green gun thing and some kind of headpiece uh you can see it on him here i don't get the headpiece thing i think it looks kind of weird but the guns the gun is pretty cool and then we have nightwing who is actually part of the collect to build batmobile wave um so you collect all the figures in this wave and you can build a Batmobile. Now, I don't believe it's like a full-size Batmobile that you can put the figures in. I think it's a smaller one that's like just for display. Um, but you can see he has a nice collector card. You got a nice pose there. And then he also comes with the uh, baton things. I don't really know what to call them, so I'm just going to call them batons. And then there he is posed with them looking really good um superman in a modern outfit i'm not sure if this is his new 52 or rebirth outfit not really sure at all um but he comes included with an alternate set of hands and a flight stand which is really cool and honestly i might get this figure just to have that display stand um because like, for a lot of my figures, it's hard to pose them. Uh, but with a flight stand like that, there's a lot more I could do with this. So I might end up getting this, especially if I can find it on clearance somewhere. Um, but the thing I like about his little collector card is that it has the Daily Planet in the background there. And then there he is on the flight stand, looking really cool. And then we have this alternate look for Superman, like I said, with the Batman one. Not sure if this is an alternate suit or a completely different character. Um, but he does not come included with any accessories. But his collector's card really does look cool. 
with the yellow lightning energy effect thing around him. Um, and as you can see, the wing things uh, do spread out and move around, so that's always a good thing. Um, a lot of detail on this one. I like the metallic paint that they use for this. Um, yeah. Then we have Superman from Justice League Unlimited, um, which looks like it would pair really well with the Green Lantern, um, because of course they're based on the same series. And just like the other Superman figure, he comes with an alternate set of hands, um, but then this one comes with a bent piece of metal or something, um, so that's cool. And... Yeah, and one one other thing I would like to mention about these figures is that these are seven inch figures. So, if you were a collector of DC Multiverse, then uh, you're basically gonna have to start over. That's the only thing I don't like about these, um, that they're taller. Uh, but here's the col the build and connect, uh, or collect and build whatever it's being called here uh batmobile you can build and then here's another figure that comes with a piece for the batmobile and this is the batman who laughs now i don't really know much about this character but i've seen and heard a lot about this um and he looks amazing especially when you compare it to the little card there um just the detail and like the comparison it looks great um, and there's so much detail on this figure, um, especially with the head sculpt and the jacket piece with the shoulders, whatever's going on there, and then the tattered piece for the bottom of the jacket or whatever it is, um, and it, he comes with two weapons, uh, like a sickle and a knife type thing, so that's cool. I might end up getting this one just because you look so awesome. Um, then we have Batman. Um, not sure if this is his rebirth or his new 52 suit. Because uh, I don't really read much for comics. Um, I'm mostly into the entertainment. Like the movies and the shows and the figures and stuff like that. Um, but anyway, he comes with a Batarang and a grappling hook. Not sure if the like actual hook piece is removable from the actual gun part of it um i'd hope that it is but i don't know it doesn't really make too much of a difference and i like that his card that he comes with features him with a bunch of his other villains like you can see joker on there scarecrow can't really see any other one maybe riddler back there in two-face uh, but then we have batman the animated series batman i love that card um, looks just like, we, like he did in the show, and this one comes with quite a few accessories, because if he's got a Batarang, a grapple gun, and an alternate set of hands, so basically this figure, but in animated form, and with an alternate set of hands, and I, li I like the proportions on this, because it's just like it was on the show, like he has really broad shoulders and a really wide, um, torso, but then he has like skinny legs, um, and like a tiny head so that's cool and I, I like the blue for the inside of his cape um, and there he is posed on the stand with his grapple gun then here is a Batmobile I'm kind of a little confused about this because it's showing two different Batmobiles so I think that this if you go on the McFarlane Toys website it showed this as a separate thing because like it had the wave and then it showed this as like coming soon um so i think this is a separate thing that will be for sale later uh, but there's another shot of it um and it looks pretty cool but like i said i'm a little confused with the continuity of like what's happening with it but anyway here we have batgirl not sure what this is based on other than that it's from the comics and so, so one thing I'm confused about this with, and it's not necessarily about the figure, but just the design even from the comics. Like, 
So she has the mask part over her eyes, and then she has the ears, but then her hair is just through the rest of that. So how how are the ears just poking out of her hair? Like, what is that attached to? I, I'm a little confused about that. Um, but she comes with one of the Batmobile pieces as well. Um, with a, a batarang or batgirl orang, something like that, and a grapple gun, a grappling hook type thing, and her card features her on a motorcycle, or a bat cycle. Um, so looking good, but now on to my favorite figure of this series, and probably the only one that I'm actually planning on getting. Uh, this is Green Arrow from the Arrow TV series. Um, if you watch other videos on my channel, then you may know that I'm a huge fan of the Arrowverse. I do reviews for all the episodes. And the main, or like the majority of the figures that I got from Mattel's DC Multiverse line were the Arrowverse figures. So I love them. And I actually don't have the Green Arrow one. I think I only have like Black Lightning, Hawkman, and Adam, maybe a few others, um, but I never got Green Arrow. And like, if you look at the price for that on Amazon now, it's like $40. So it's not easy to get. But now, not only can you get it for $20, but with more detail, more accessories, a collector card. I mean, this is just amazing. Look at that head sculpt. That looks so accurate to. To Stephen Amell, and plus this is based off of his most recent suit, I believe, from the final season that's still continuing uh, to go on. There's like two or three episodes left, um, and he comes with a quiver, some arrows to put in the quiver, and a bow which actually has an arrow on it, so that's cool. Not sure if it's removable, but I honestly don't care, because... I mean, if it's removable, I don't know why would why you would want to remove it. Like, it's good to have the option, but why have him holding his air his bow if you're not gonna have him have an arrow in it? Like, yeah. So just this pose looks so amazing, and I can't wait to get get this figure and do this. And I'm so excited for this. This is like the main reason I'm excited for this wave. Um, but those are all of the figures that are included in this wave that has been revealed so far. Um, so, of course, we're going to get other waves and other figures later throughout the year, but this is just what we're getting for now in this month. And, like I said, I'm excited for Green Arrow most of all. Um, but let me know down in the comments below, what do you think about these figures? Do you plan on getting any of these? And who would you want them to make for DC Multiverse figures? Like... Like, do you want them to make more Arrowverse figures, movie figures, um, more animated series figures, or just straight comic figures? Because there, there's so many different types of figures you could do. Um, and that's one of the coolest parts of it. Like, there's so many different ways you can do it. Um, so, like I said, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you in my next video. So I can bestow all my DC knowledge upon you.